Hi everybody, it's Anbona and welcome to my channel. I'm a legend on this channel. It's called Reality TV Shows. I'm a celebrity guy in my YouTubers. Listen, you guys, today I want to do the full review of the Bala Family Show, the reality show. And uh, I want to talk a little bit about what happened in uh, episode 7. If you are joining me for the first time today and you haven't subscribed, there is a subscribe button, like a and a notification bell. Press both so that you can get my notifications. There's other ways to support the channel. Please like the video. There is a thanks button if you want to give money to the channel. And there are adverts on this video if you want to uh, watch uh, some adverts too help the channel grow but also you guys if you want to join the membership there is a join button below so you guys when uh the bella family reality show started uh they had uh, basically identified the fact that this family has a lot of tensions there's a lot of relationships going on in this uh family uh relationships that have tension and i think that they had recognized that it was going to be difficult for them to do the show together if they don't touch on those things that are causing tension within the family and that's why at the beginning of the season they went to that boat camp i think that was a good idea but i don't think that any family can solve everything or resolve everything all of the issues uh in the family with just one weekend uh, get away you know of course we got to understand the dynamics of the relationships but i think there was more to work on so when they came back from the boat camp i was kind of hoping that they will continue with uh counseling maybe individually and also those people who have uh, more tense relationships like uzwai nopelo like um zwai and his mother like pink and her mother maybe those people will continue to do those sessions so that they could work on some things but obviously we have not seen it on the show so i will assume that it's not taking place and because of that everything that they do there's just underlying uh tension with this family like i haven't seen this family like 100 percent just happy being around each other they, it always feels like there's an underlying thing that is causing the tension okay so on this episode they were supposed to do um sebens which was why i said uh in the last episode it's called in Dambengulu, which is basically him being given the right to do isn't as a sekaya um like uh, as a man of the family so but then he turns out to be late uh, because he had asked the uncles and you know the family is there and everybody but he was late for uh, this um sebenzi and the uncles were not happy about about that i didn't understand you guys why he would be uh, late and also maklachi wekai don't they do a lot of the things the night before maybe with uh amakosa is different everything is done that day if uklachi were don't they do it the day before so everybody has to be there the night before so that in the morning everyone is there when the rest of the uh things is a uh, zom are being done so he wasn't there and uloiso and ended up being there before uzwai but obviously uloiso is a christian uh, so he doesn't really do um the uh, the traditional stuff okay so but he ended up having to stand in because uzwai was not there i like that uloiso even though uh, he is a christian he is kind of accommodating in a sense that he won't disrespect whatever it is that you're trying to do that he does not believe in himself because even when they were sitting down and they had to take a shot and they they, they had to uh, uh pass the glass around so everybody takes a shot i guess it's part of you know um one of the things that they had to do uh, and he he also did take uh take the the shots and pretended to uh drink it and then pass it to the next person and i feel like he is uh the only one that does that when it comes to this family the rest of the family uh they just want to believe in whatever it is that they want to believe in and they don't want to participate in another person's uh whatever it is that they believe in and what they want to do and i think that's the thing that is causing conflict in this family loiso would go with the flow he would say listen i'm a christian this is what i believe in but if you believe in whatever it is that you believe in i will support you but i just don't believe in that okay that is the difference okay but he as well does end up uh coming later on 
uh, that day and obviously the uncles were not happy uh, they're saying Uzo he will have to buy a ship uh, during Christmas to pay for the fact that he was late for Msebenzi I didn't I wasn't even um, understanding whether the uncle is saying that as a joke or really honestly he will have to buy uh, the ship for uh, Christmas so yeah you guys and then the next thing it was they were just uh, having a family meeting because they do have a Bala family foundation it's supposed to be a foundation that helps the community uh, with you know the nurturing of the talents uh, in the community and yes you guys I wish that they could have spoken more about it in terms of like uh, where they get the funding and all of that and how people actually get assistance from them but they were having a meeting because they want to understand um, the roles uh, within uh, the foundation and also I did not understand whether the Bella foundation is a is a new concept or it's something that has existed for some time and they were just having one of you know many meetings that they have regarding the foundation I didn't understand that but the meeting goes well nonetheless you guys and then there is another scene where Pele is talking to his mom because of course he wants to do Msebenzi and I think Msebenzi is then you are becoming Sangoma fully. But with this one it confuses me because Ubala Upelo is not in Twaswin. Again he seems to be home living his normal life. So I don't know I, I don't clearly understand because in Tuaso ya ke hamba ganja no Tuaso ganja ni or Tuaso a Bluetooth you know <laughs> you know did he Bluetooth the the Tuaso because people get get sebe and zamaju muta sing Tuaso lekaya which I don't understand but you know did he do that or not but he's going to do sebe and when he wanted to find out if mom uh would be uh would come with him to didn't want to do it guys this is one of those things where i'm saying i feel like uloiso does better with these things than the rest of the family because the mother decides that she's, she's not gonna go i felt like even though you know you are a christian okay you can still go to the kobela uh, house i mean you're a prayerful woman so you're not gonna you know anything that you don't want to touch you're not gonna touch you're not gonna paint any incense if you don't want you don't not gonna drink anything if uh, you don't want to but just your presence as a mom uh when your son says mom listen i need you here with me it could have made such a big difference and i think that when we watched um the ranaka family that's the same issue that the mother had where she was saying i'm a christian i don't believe in these things but i want to support my child which was Utineo at the time and she ended up uh, going to the Gobela house when they were doing um and it worked for them she was like i don't believe in this but i want to support my child i never want my child to feel like they are not supported just because we believe in uh, different things and she did go and i think that this mom too uh should have go should have gone with should have agreed that she is going to go with upelo but she does not want to go okay and also upelo uh, calls a meeting uh this one everybody is there is it everybody but uh ubabu jafta the mother and uzwai was there loiso and pinky were not there i think in this meeting so i think they so Upelo wanted to update everybody would say okay the date of um and uh, now is out and and then the parents wanted to ask Uzwai if he can be the one that is going to be there for Upelo we already know that Uzwai has tension with Upelo they haven't spoken remember last week they were supposed to have uh, this audition and Upelo was supposed to be there with uh, Pinky to do the audition and he showed up very late and he showed up drunk he was not sober at all so and they had that conflict and were humble appeal so as far as we know they haven't had a conversation now mom is asking that instead of helping the one to go i got kobela to support Upelo. she wants uzwai to go you know and Zwai is not understanding so what is the reason that you are not going to support your son and they do explain uh, with a uh, jafsa that you know what uh, we don't believe in this so we can't go wakobela so basically you're not gonna take your responsibilities now because of inkonzo i think U uzwai is very angry about uh, many things that happened 
when they were growing up and i think he's very upset about he resents his mom for so much of the responsibilities that he took on uh because their mom was not so present and i think that the reason that their mom was not present was because it, it was always because of a man and so you know he is feeling like every time there is a man in uh, their mom's life they don't take priority bona as kids you know even though they are grown up but you are a kid to your parent okay so he's saying listen the the, the problem with this one is that it always takes priority you know because obviously it is taking priority because even which after agrees with it to go to very they can't go by a cobella because bona by a caller so now uh Uzwa is like, why does Isondo take priority all the time when we know very well that Isondo doesn't have all the answers that we need as a family, you know? Uh, so it's like you, you're giving it so much of a priority, but here it is. Uh, Pelo has been going through a lot and now he has found a solution in something different than Isondo, but Isondo is taking priority right now. You're not going to go and support him now. I must go and support him in your place. And I feel like he was triggered because that, that is what happened earlier on in their lives where their mom was not present and the person that had to take over as a parent was him and uh, also Pinky helping him out so i think he was triggered in that moment because he seems to be very angry even Ubap Jafsa was saying Gosi, Zoa is very angry the way you know that he is angry is when his nose is moving and definitely his nose uh was uh moving so then Zoe asked it's okay mom fine i understand i have to go because obviously if you're not gonna go and support pill, i have to go somebody has to go you know are you going to make Mkombo Tige on the day? Because obviously they have to prepare in the house that Kuzoba no She said she's not going to make Mkombo guys. This is the thing that I didn't understand. Okay. I did not understand this one. Uh, Uguti, what did, how does it affect you Pekum Mkombo Because Mak Pekum Mkombo the process of Pekum Mkombo like Pekum Mkombo If Christians be posi wine, you wine liya vuchelo na, you wine liya pegwa. You can say that because we are paying only. Go 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 go. Touch up a crepe. Is after we some buffer my ingredients whatever. That's a process of baking. Um, gumbo. Now, what's in your pella? Like, so when this is in there, say, and whatever else that you're using, but a process of making um, gumbo. I I'm failing to understand how does it become an issue if you are a, a christian you, you can just make them and then let them use them however way that they want to use and they could have been a great way also for this mother to show support to her son by just making them combo say it's okay fine i'm not gonna be able to go with you uh, for these reasons but i can make them combo i really don't understand you guys maybe those who are uh really like strict christians in the comment section can tell me because what would be the issue in just making them combo to put it there and then let you know uh other people help him get okay, with the other stuff that you cannot participate um in okay anyway uh zoe was not impressed you guys why was not impressed by the fact that the mother is not gonna go uh with pelo she, he was not impressed by the fact that he feels like people will say that family is everything but then when it comes to you really doing the things to show that family is everything then you don't so it means that really honestly for you family doesn't come first so he was irritated by that and that the next scene it ended there we haven't seen um uh pelosum sebenzi yet so that scene ended there but it was quite tense that's why i'm saying you guys that i wish that they had continued with therapy because clearly uh with zwai and his mom there's still issues there i think that she, uh, he is triggered all the time and i think that also a relationship kamawake with ubab chapter triggers him a lot okay and so he's just always in a state of of anger when he's dealing with them it could be the littlest of things that can just make him uh, angry that's why i feel like they should have continued with therapy so the next scene is at lois's house finally luma has invited the family uh for brunch okay i'm trying to figure this makoti out i don't know if she's somebody that just enjoys her private uh time uh or also maybe there's that thing of 
differences in uh, culture and so maybe just the getting to know each other getting to know how you like to do things um you know it, that is the struggle but she has been around i think it's like she did she say 12 years 12 or 14 years that she's been um you know with uloi so, so it's been a while she's not a new uh Makodi. but it was sweet that she invited everybody to come for brunch okay i saw some scrambled eggs there and i saw some uh cupcakes there you know and yeah umakoti made an effort but didn't go overboard okay <laughs> <laughs> this go overboard, okay? Because you know, when my mom was going to buy, we expect her extra. It was just, it was just a breakfast, okay? And um, yes, you guys. And earlier on, Uzoi pulls aside Uloi uh, so to talk to him about the fact that Upelo had said that she regards Uloi so as a father figure to him, okay? And I think Uzwai also was triggered by that because he is the one that took over when their mama could not be around. They even talked about the fact that Uzwai was the one that paid the school fees, he says, to Akinsbeck boys uh, when Pelo went to school because the mama was not around, but also maybe she couldn't afford. So he was the one that paid the school fees. So I am like guessing that maybe that upsets him so why is he taking you as a father figure but not really me when i feel like you don't really take that much responsibility anyway because uh uzwai his issue with loiso is that loiso doesn't correct uh upelo he won't speak up when upelo is doing something wrong okay and does not act like a father figure to upelo okay i don't think that uh, so this is what he says because he doesn't take it too hard to go to Pelo is saying you you are like a father figure to me to a point where he's feeling like he is a father to Upelo. He doesn't think of it that way, but he does feel like it upsets Uzuai that Upelo says uh things uh, like that. Okay. Luiso seems to be very relaxed about a lot of things and sometimes you guys I feel like he just um he just decides not to um go deep with things but i don't think that he's the person that is not hurt by certain things or not bothered by certain things but he has accepted that you know relationships in the family in his family are not perfect and um i don't know i i don't know you guys he just doesn't go deep with the relationships it's like yeah that's what's happening i'm okay with it sometimes a person that does that is the one person that is mostly uh damaged the one that doesn't talk as much about how hurt they are or how upset they are that is the person that is the most uh hurt by what's happening so i can't figure out with or oh, um so if that is the case or really honestly for him it's not that deep when it comes to all of these things that are happening with the family okay so uh they were telling the family that they're going to be celebrating their anniversary uh oh no this was mom okay this was mom but before we get there guys i want to talk about this thing uh yet dress code when it comes to Marco because still i don't know you guys there's something about sisters in law wanting to sort of control what happens with uh umakoti when it uh, comes to their brother getting my coat you know upinki was married it didn't work out so you can say you know and um and then she's back at home as a big sister okay fine but then it it always just seems like every time she can she can never be around so and they just relax and they laugh and they just talk about the kids or whatever she always has to go into wanting to tell Loiso's wife how to be a better Kosa Makoti girl if you knew how to be with the perfect Makoti maybe you wouldn't be back from a man just let this woman be married to her man the way that she wants to be married to her man and if she needs advice she will come to you she's been with the family for a while now and I'm not saying that who pinky lost or maybe the relationship ended because she wasn't a perfect makoti but i'm just saying that but if you know it all why did it end it's like are you the one you know if you knew how to be a perfect makoti if you knew how to keep the daughter to keep the in-laws happy and all of that 
how come it didn't work out you know so it's like she can't relax she can't just relax when it comes to umakot galo she always has to have something you know uh when we're planning things we want you to be involved when we um and also you have to dress a certain way and and all of that so oh my god the, the issue with the dress code she says okay i understand the dress code but i feel like if you've been oh my god for a long time why does it matter really you already are part of the family i kind of agree with her you guys because there are families where if you are oh my god you have to wear it dogo you have to wear long sleeve and you have to wear that thing that goes across your chest like that okay imagine 20 years married to the family and every time you have to go see them you still have to do that i feel like yeah when you are in your god maybe just for them to see you could say okay yeah you respect that but after a while leave that woman alone you know about the dress code okay maybe if you want it to go she can just wear it too but the rest like leave the woman alone to enjoy her marriage okay and also that makes umako did not really like to spend a lot of time with you as the in-laws if every time that they are around you you are picking into how they what they're wearing what they're doing by akoba abakobi can they cook um kombuti or not and whatever you know I just feel like they're always picky when it when it comes to that she is feeling like she's been in the family long enough she felt like she was supposed to do that when she was new as umako she's no longer new so she doesn't see what the fuss is about and also she says that she's been around family where she has asked them is it should i be wearing duke right now and the mother would be like no don't worry about it but the, then now they seem to have a problem uh with it okay the family seems to think that it looks bad on uh, the extended family if she doesn't uh, wear it do if she doesn't wear the way that omakot is supposed to wear you know so it's about other people than it is about them i actually think that that's a lie it's about them it bothers them it doesn't bother the other family because you can run your household the way that you want to run your house if you want to make a that's what you can do okay so yes you guys that's the issue that she's having she's saying after 12 years you still want me to do that like really what what's what's the what's the goal here <laughs> you know and uh anyway uh they start telling them about the anniversary celebration because um well umama no baba umama and chapter want to celebrate their anniversary but i think also Uloiso and his wife also they want to do something to celebrate their anniversary maybe they should um like have one party <laughs> i i doubt that dubakot kaloiso would uh, allow that you guys yes so they had spoken about wanting to get the kids uh together which is the like the uh which is the bala kids with the jafta kids because what jafta has what what is his name but his kids they wanted that and i thought that maybe possibly that was gonna happen this episode but it didn't maybe it's gonna happen um in the next one okay guys listen this is one of those uh, shows where i don't feel like they need to do a lot of episodes i'm hoping that maybe episode 10 will be the last episode and then we can see if we get um season uh two i think so far you guys i think the person that i am a little bit worried about is uh because i do feel like there's some issues there with alcohol and possibly alcohol abuse and this is the thing that i don't get as well because when you they, they would say when you have a gift obviously there would there are things that will happen in your life that makes you because you know things will happen because you have not accepted the gift okay you will have anxiety you know sometimes the uh, depression is part of it it's part of you know the journey to you accepting your gift and but then i feel like then when you have accepted the gift and now you are doing everything that abadala require you to do then shouldn't they you know eliminate the anxiety now shouldn't they help you through a depression now why am i still depressed while i'm going through into us so for an example why am i still 
uh, depre having anxiety while I'm going through Indwaso. You know, why am I still struggling with addiction while I'm going through Indwaso? I don't understand that, guys. If you have answered the call, then you must be able to see things getting sorted out in your life so that you can get to a place where you can uh, help other people because this is what Ngoma is about, isn't it? Okay. So I don't understand. Like, you're still suffering from anxiety, from depression. You're still looking like you might possibly be abusing al alcohol but you are doing everything that you're supposed to do in accepting your gift or your calling. What the hell? So, so just go back to being you then and just struggle with everything that you were struggling with before because you are still struggling with those things. Those who know a lot about callings, maybe they will uh, assist in the comment section to understand. I don't understand. If Pelo was struggling with anxiety and depression and alcohol abuse because he was not answering his calling and now he has answered his calling why is he still going through the same things what, so what how how did abatala help him after he accepted the gifts then it does not make sense to me anyway you guys thank you so much for watching this video please like it before please do not forget to join me uh for a full review today at six we're going to do real housewives of johannesburg we have a lot to talk about because i have so many issues with real housewives of johannesburg but we're gonna talk about it we're gonna have some fun too because i haven't done a live in a while anyway thank you so much for watching this video please like it before you want to share it with your friends with your family and even with strangers in tanda